welcome everyone uh, full spiritual vibe i am getting all youth and truth and all people sitting with great postures this this is like the film film making bunch all the people are sitting hunched <laughs> this is all the sadguru bunch all looking bright <laughs> so i am here today in conversation with sadguru and uh, the topic for today or the area we are covering is youth and truth and uh, we'll try to stick to stuff that's relevant to us a lot of questions come from me personally things that trouble me and things that i wanted to ask someone and i thought it's a good opportunity and uh, we picked a bunch of questions from the people as well from the general youth as well so i'll start sadguru mm-hmm. first of all welcome to hyderabad you. <laughs> i you must have come several times before i'm not sure but uh, I came here yeah. many times even before you were born. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you all he was already telling me he's been doing this since 37 years. But uh, I already know he likes Hyderabad because he was appreciating the Hyderabad traffic police. He was like these guys are good. Mm. So first thing Sadhguru I think uh, I'd like to get to know you a little bit better. So my first couple of questions are about you. Can I proceed? Mhm. My first question is I watched a, I watched I'm not as aware as you guys but I, I do watch uh, some of his videos and I'm always surprised by how do you have an answer to everything like <laughs> and uh, most of it makes sense and my first feeling was hey, this what do you mean most of it huh? yeah. as in like I asked you about happiness and you sold me inner engineering program <laughs> <laughs> so other than that like most like and I feel like common sense is very uncommon that's already very uncommon and i i always wonder how do you have an answer to everything like i see it's like asking mm. how come you see the tree how come you see the people how come you can see the camera how can you can see yeah. ant and bird okay no i just got eyes but i can see these things <laughs> but i don't have an answer no, to everything no no this is suppose a person huh. who doesn't have eyes ask this question huh. you can see a tree also you can huh. see a bird also you can see an elephant also no i don't see all those things i just have eyes and it sees everything okay so so i basically I, need to open i, I yes <laughs> to bring the clarity if you have clarity whatever you see you see it the way it is if you don't have clarity you muddle it up in your mind with all kinds of things essentially this is happening this is an evolutionary issue <laughs> in the sense see this uh, this development of the cerebra mm, of mm, this mm. cerebral activity mm. of this ability to process information and thought the way we are doing it right now is a new happening in the evolutionary scheme of things so you have a brain for which you don't have a stable enough body so the brain is not functioning uh, for you it forcing functioning against you most of the time what you call as fears anxieties troubles you romanticize all those things in the movies <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but essentially it's your brain working against you i think uh, very tragically one uh, telangana or hyderabad television anchor recently committed suicide about 4 or 5 months ago jumped off uh, fifth floor or so and then she left a note my brain is my enemy well it took millions of years to get this brain to this state and now it becomes your enemy simply because you don't create a stable enough platform this is all human beings have to do if you create a stable enough platform then your intelligence will work for you rather than working against you when it works against you you call it stress you call it anxiety you call it fears you call it confusion you call it madness but essentially it's just that your intelligence is turned against you please don't romanticize this because your intelligence must work for you if your intelligence turns against you there is no force in the universe that can help you ever so you're saying if we create a stable enough body to handle this brain we will uh, i said a stable platform platform which body is included my next question is uh, like i am the person i am because of various things that happened in my life the decisions i have made 
uh, how I've faced like events happen in your life and how you react to them is how I've become the person I am. I'm wondering what happened to you in your life to make you the to make you the person you are today. What is it that happened in your life that made you take this path even? Or uh, why you're sitting there and I'm sitting here? Maybe oh, if those incidents... I think are... we have the same kind of chair, just to make sure. Why you are giving the answers and I'm asking the questions? Because you have questions. <laughs> why do you have the answer? So I'm, I'm asking, <laughs> what is it that happened in your life that it's turned your that life this way? I asked all the questions mm. that you're thinking of now, and a million fold more questions when you were much earlier than you and uh, invested my life into those questions. Did not ask those questions casually. Mm. Did not go and ask somebody else, what about this, what about that. Mm. Questions bothered me and I knew, I realized just listening to the chatter around you, none of them have a clue mm. about anything. Mm. So, I invested my life into the questions. And you found your own answers? I did not find answers <laughs> My head became empty, even now. It's totally empty and clear. So, if you… if you go and stand in front of a clear mirror, whoever comes, huh? Huh. whether Konda comes or mountain comes, huh. it will show. So does it mean to say the mirror knows the konda and the mountain and the elephant and the man and the woman who stand in front of the mirror? No, it's just clear. So right now you're just empty and that… that's what gives you this clarity, eh? See, when you say empty, see it's like this. You have a, a much smaller beard but you're trying to pull it. No, it's just so a habit. When is the shooting? Uh, and there's a bunch, maybe you in a need month. little longer? Is it the reason why you're pulling it? Is… Uh, no, it's just a habit, but I would That's love it to grow <laughs> to that level. No, why I'm saying this is, huh. our hands or our body can start doing something compulsively. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If it becomes very compulsive, mm -hmm. then people will say it's an ailment. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, people will say it's their personality. Mm -hmm. So, personality is a mild ailment. Mm -hmm. When it gets very strong, people will say, oh, he's gone crazy. Mm. Yes? <laughs> mm -hmm. So, when the same happens with your mind, mm. people think it's natural, it's not natural. Mind has become compulsive. Compulsive thoughts, compulsive emotions are happening. People say, this is my personality, this is where… this is how I am. This is not how you are. You have become like this, Accidentally, as you said, various situations and push and pull of life does this to people. So this is a choice that a human being has, that you either become an accidental person or a conscious person. The significance of being human is that we can be a conscious life. Why we're in some way better than other creatures, is not because we are more competent. No, a monkey is far more competent in catching a ball, throwing a ball, whatever, you name it. In terms of strength, we are not comparable to other creatures. Only reason is we can live consciously. We can do everything that they do. We do the same things, but we can do it consciously. So if you cannot conduct the process of your mind, emotion and body consciously, then it becomes accidental or compulsive. That is not the way a human being should go, especially you being an actor. If you don't have a personality of your own, whatever person you have to play at that moment, you could be a total that person, rather than becoming a personality yourself. Because personality means a mask, essentially. In the Greek drama, the word persona meant a handheld mask. Those were days, there are only three actors but there are ten uh, characters in the drama. So these three guys will take on different masks, hold it and do those dialogues. This is how the drama was done. So when this mask gets stuck to your face and you can't remove it, that's called a personality. So why do you need a personality? To do different kinds of activity, you need different kinds of personality. People who've been around me for long enough, 
they have this trouble of seeing me, why will I warn them, see I'm going to change my persona now. Watch out, I'm going to change everything about me, don't think I've lost it and don't fall off, hang on. Well, some people have the wisdom to hang on, some people will lose it and they'll fall off. Though I warned them six months before I change my personality <laughs> completely, changing everything about me, the way… the way I even I think and feel, what the… what food I like also I change. <laughs> because this is what a human being means. But you do that consciously? <clears throat> consciously. For… to what objective, like why… just for to, a change or… No, to fulfill different purposes. Okay, okay. Like some spiritual stuff. There. No. <laughs> Life purpose. When uh, I was in the mode of consecration of Dhyana Linga, mm. people saw me like a fireball, always intense, mm -hmm. spoke very little, mm. rarely smiled. <laughs> now they can't believe that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so once that was over, then I told them, see, we've lived on the peaks for too long, mm. time to get down to the valleys and do something more easy and simple. So then I get into the activity in the world, so I change my clothing, I change the way I eat, I change the way I look, I change the way I smile and talk, everything. Because now you're reaching out to the world, at that time it was a different goal altogether, now it's a different thing. So accordingly, you do that. From this conscious… conscious living and compulsive behavior, what would you like to tell us, like what are… what is better for us? Because we are all just reacting to every day, I'm faced with different situations and I'm just reacting to them and I'm doing whatever is in my best interest. And that is shaping the person I become and I'm making these decisions consciously. Maybe this I'm doing compulsively but this I don't care about, it doesn't affect my life in any way. Uh, but… Uh, no, no, I was just joking. Yeah. <laughs> so, but the rest, we are all making conscious, mostly conscious decisions. See, as you said, you're reacting to situations. Yeah. When you say reaction, it means it's compulsive. There is a difference between reacting to something and responding to something. Okay, maybe wrong vocabulary. No, responding. no, no, there is reaction. <laughs> uh. You may think through what is your well-being, but still it's a reaction, isn't it? No, we are uh, also responding to You're situations. You're also… I mean, yeah. it's nobody is hundred percent this or that. Let's yeah. not uh, misunderstand somebody is all up there and somebody is yeah. all down here, yeah. there's no such thing. Yeah. Every human being rises and goes down, up mm. and down, happening. But the fundamental thing is, in a day, mm. from the moment you got up today till this moment, mm. hardly a quarter of the day is gone, mm. how much of your thought, emotion, physical activity has been conscious? including your breath and heartbeat and everything else. Oh, if I have to sit and be… but this is supposed to be involuntary, no? Breath and it, stuff. It is involuntary, ah. but are you conscious is the question. Are you conscious of your breath now, every breath? See, ask… you can inquire, anybody can inquire, people who are around me, traveling with me, mm. have they ever seen me doing any exercise? Do you know in the car while we were driving, you would do this with your moustache? No, yes, that is because uh, today it is all little <laughs> flirred up and uh, before I come to the camera, even now I am doing it. In <laughs> so Tamil Nadu, this is some television… Conscious, it's not like me. No, no, it's as Tamil Nadu, some television channels are using because this is always a problem because I've never cut these things. Okay. So I have to do this before I be go in front of the camera. Okay. And now one pro Tamil Nadu pro channel uses a promotional where I'm doing like, like this, this. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and they made it, projected it in a completely different oh. way. I'm like challenging oh. the people oh. like oh. this. Oh. I'm not challenging anybody, I'm straightening <laughs> out my mustache <laughs> Because if I… if I do this or this, it can make my very face look different, like this. Yeah. Yeah. So instead of cutting, I'm spending little time on doing this, not separate time when I'm driving. No time wasted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One more uh, question uh, related to this in a very… in a very utilitarian, very basic, inhuman level, our mind and eyes hey. haven't been… Don't, you're don't also you, human, Don't you, don't you call <laughs> me inhuman, <huh? laughs> So, uh, once when I was… Uh, 
in my intermediate and this is where your hormones are going through the roof and this is mostly where you're attracted to the opposite sex or the same sex depending on your choice. Uh, once my dad sat me down and uh, he told me, uh, Vijay, if you buy a bot bottle of water, you can drink it, you can close the cap, you can keep it half full, you can know that when I reach that place, I still have a half a bottle of water. You can drink it to the last sip. You can refill it if you want. It's always with you. But if you fall in love with a girl, she's not an object. She's a person. Uh, and unlike an object, she has her own feelings, her own, uh, her own emotions. And she can develop likes and dislikes that might not suit you. She might make decisions that you might not think are in your best interest because she has her own life and she has her own choices. So it was like, what he was trying to do was, he was telling me, focus on your career now because that will always, if you work towards it, it will always pay back. And for love, once you're settled and stuff, you can spend time on it. Right now, it's about career. If I was a girl, he would tell me the same thing about a boy. So it again comes back to this question about on a very real level that we, we have, so, so many of us have to make these choices where do we pursue ambition with all our intensity and time and energy or do we, when you find the right person, do you try and, it's hard to find this balance though because it's very competitive these days and uh, you have to give it all to survivals uh, much, you need to work harder to beat, beat the competition and survive. Don't go on the competition <laughs> trip, I'll come to it. So like I nurturing a relationship. <laughs> Nurturing a relationship versus nurturing ambition. Like this was something he said. So I wanted to know your thoughts on that. Like was he off the mark? Was he off the point? Was he... No, in his own way what he's trying to tell you is, there is a time to build yourself mm. and there is a time to live. Mm. If you try to live too early, mm. then uh, life may not stay with you. Mm. You may end up in a place that you, you yourself will not like after some time. Mm -hmm. So essentially he's saying, first build your life, mm. then you try to live. Mm. But if you try to live too early, it won't last and you won't have a big life, you'll have a very small life. Mm. And uh, one more thing is, we all love, we all love being loved. I'm talking again on a relationship level, that's, that's all I know. Uh, no, no, let's settle this. <laughs> when you experience love, it happened within you or here? I know you uh, in the it movies you are see, as a showing all those heart marks flowing this way and that way uh -huh. in Instagram and all that. Uh -huh. But when you felt it, it happened within you or outside of it you? It happened within me but as a response to uh, something. Uh, in stimulation. Uh -huh. That's why I said, do you want to be a self-start machine? or a push start machine, somebody has to come and stimulate, only then you will feel sweet. So you're saying without any stimulation, I can sit here and just feel full of love and feel happy in stuff? If you're self-start. Whoa, that it, must be a cool place to be at, like to see, feel… it is cool. It's <laughs> 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 a cool place to be at. We have to try and get there someday, like… <laughs> That's why in engineering. But first I have to pay rents. <laughs> first I have no, to… No, <laughs> paying rent will not even be a concern. When… Yes. Because you can just be but, under a tree and… No, be that's full not of the love. point. <laughs> it's not being under a tree. Being under a tree is fantastic. But it's not about that. See, right now small things are being made big mm. because most people don't need an enemy. They are doing fine by themselves. They are self-defeating all the time. Their own thoughts, their own emotions trouble them more than the world, isn't mm. it? Mm -hmm. Why are your thoughts and emotions working against you? Mm. Should they be working for you or against you? Which for way is it? But, yeah. If they're working for you, you think earning, earning a living, paying a stupid rent and eating what you want is a big problem? <laughs> Earthworm and grasshopper is earning its living. You, this big brain, you can't earn a living? What are you talking about? Earthworm because chill. such a big brain is working against you. That is the only problem. The only problem human beings have is, they got a big brain and the damn thing is working against them. If it is working for them, making a living, surviving in the world is not even an issue.
That's why I feel like all problems are uh, self created. Our nature, like they didn't structure us properly, they should have done it. No, no. The brain works for <laughs> See, now we have to sit and go to India. Wha <laughs> huh? See, what is a possibility? If there is a possibility, if you do not explore the possibility, it becomes your problem. Mm. That's mm. all that's happened to most people. Mm. Human being is a possibility. You are not fixed like other creatures. All other creatures' nature is fixed what they can be and cannot be. With a human being, see, we did not say a tiger being, an elephant being. Mm. We only said you, human being. Yeah. That means you know how to be. If you know how to be, will you keep your body, mind, emotion, energy in the highest level of pleasantness? Yes or no? Will you be blissed out or miserable? I'm asking if you know how to be. I would like to be blissed yes. out. Yes. So should we call you human being or uh, human animal? You're a human being because you're the only one on this planet who has the capacity to be. That means you know how to be. If you know how to be, you will definitely be blissed out. If you're blissed out, what is the problem? Paying rent, earning a living, uh, managing relationship, is it a problem? Everything you will do effortlessly. Now, you are not fulfilling the basic aspect of being human being. You're not being, you're trying to do everything else <laughs> Do you think I'm capable of inner engineering from your time with me? I can't sit five… I can't meditate five minutes, I feel like I'm wasting time <laughs> I feel like it's the most unproductive thing type, I'm very restless. No, that is because you've done all the wrong things. I didn't <laughs> even try it properly, but… What I'm saying is, when it comes to doing things with the body, mm. what one person can do, another person cannot do. Mm. When it comes to the mind, what one person can do, another person cannot do. Mm. But when it comes to the inner dimension of the life, all of us are equally competent. Okay. Nobody is better equipped than anybody else. Okay. I am not better equipped than you, okay. it's the same thing. Only thing is, I paid attention to that dimension, you did not. If you're willing to pay attention, it is as much possible for you as for anybody. Thirty-two hours. Thirty-two focus. hours of focus time to start with <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Sadhguru. Hmm? Please uh, take care, there is something that you need to handle right now. <laughs>